Hey yo everyone, The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion Remastered is fantastic. It's genuinely some of the most fun I've had gaming this year, and since I never played the original, this might as well be a brand spanking new Elder Scrolls for me. It seems as if the general consensus online is this is one of the best remasters to ever come out and has really set the bar high for future games in this class. Oblivion Remastered has somehow managed to retain the old feel of the original game while massively overhauling the graphics thanks to the implementation of Unreal Engine 5. At its core, the Oblivion Remaster is still using the original game's engine, but somehow the devs over at Virtuous were able to combine it with Unreal, which is kinda unreal. Say that again? Pretty cool how they're using two different game engines simultaneously. So that got me thinking. Why doesn't Bethesda move away from their janky, proprietary creation engine and instead begin utilizing a more universal engine, Unreal Engine 5? Today, let's talk about that and why Bethesda hasn't moved on from their seemingly archaic game engine. As always, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Alright, let's get it. Alrighty, so a quick disclaimer, I am by no means an expert on this stuff and don't pretend to be. So. Please don't be mean to me if I get any of this wrong, I'm doing my best over here, okay? Anyway, let's start with the creation engine itself. The creation engine made its debut with the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Of course, Bethesda had been using some iteration of this in previous games, but it was under the name Gamebryo Engine, which was used for Morrowind, Oblivion, and Fallout 3. Since then, the creation engine has been a staple of Bethesda game studios. Skyrim, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76 are all built using this engine. It wasn't until 2023 that its successor, the Creation Engine 2, was used to create a new game in Starfield. So for the most part, Bethesda has had pretty massive success with their Creation Engine. At this point, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the hallmarks of the Creation Engine. The character movement animations, for example. It feels a little dated in 2025, but at the time, it was a big step up on how character models looked and how they moved. Another example would be NPC scheduling. If you pay attention to certain NPCs in Skyrim, then you might notice that they have a set routine. Wake up, walk around the town, maybe go to a tavern, and then return home to sleep at night. It really helps make the world feel alive. But maybe the most infamous feature of the creation engine is the way it utilizes Radiant AI. This is the feature that allows NPCs to change based on the story decisions you make. You know, this is the tool that will allow an NPC to lock or unlock certain quests depending on previous actions you have made in the game. It's a great feature that really makes these games feel real in an organic sort of way. Of course, today in 2025 not all of these attributes are exclusive to the creation engine, but Bethesda certainly helped pave the way to get where we are today with modern RPGs. So all of these things together make up the creation engine, the tool that Bethesda uses to build their games, the tool that's really behind that Bethesda DNA feeling when you play one of their games. Of course, this engine isn't perfect. If you've ever played a Bethesda game, chances are you know how awkward it can feel sometimes. The NPCs can be a bit clunky, there is an abundance of loading screens, even if you're just walking into a small building, and overall, there are a ton of optimization problems. I mean, buggy games are basically a staple in today's industry, but Bethesda really takes the cake with some of their glitches. So even though the creation engine has all of these great features we mentioned earlier, it can be handicapped a bit by its outdated architecture, which unfortunately can sometimes lead to a lower quality experience. So why doesn't Bethesda just switch to Unreal Engine 5? A ton of modern developers are using this engine. Black Myth Wukong, Claire Obscure Expedition 33, The Outer Worlds 2, all of these games, and so many more, use Unreal Engine 5. Heck, even the Obsidian remake used the engine for its visuals. In a time of constant firings and hirings, using an engine that is more universally utilized should help with the onboarding process, right? That should, in theory, make it easier for Bethesda to collaborate with outside studios since everyone will be on the same page when it comes to development. Well, there are a couple of reasons why Bethesda hasn't made this switch. Let's start with the term that I am definitely not qualified to use, tech debt. If you're not familiar with the term, tech debt often refers to the practice of using certain software to make a game because it's cheaper and more readily available, even if there's a better system out there to use instead. For example, Bethesda uses the creation engine because they built it themselves. It's their exclusive game engine that they designed and poured countless resources into. Of course they want to use it. Why would they pay Epic for their engine if they have a perfectly decent engine back home? If nothing else, I'm sure it's a matter of pride. 
So even if, theoretically speaking, Unreal Engine 5 were to be the better engine, Bethesda doesn't want to switch because they've already invested so much into the creation engine, despite the fact that this could very well come back and bite them in the butt later on. I mean, who knows what game development will look like in another 20 years? Maybe the creation engine will be flat out unusable because Bethesda is the only studio to actually use it. That means that they will have to be the ones who are constantly working on it, updating it, maintaining it. That's a lot of extra work. Think about it like this. Bethesda is using the code they already have to make a game today. While that's great for developing the game right now, it means that this engine might have to make compromises in the future, or that it will need extra maintenance because it's an older software, or maybe it even causes game-breaking bugs because the older engine isn't compatible with newer tech. That's tech debt. Essentially, it's a design decision that benefits the here and now, but might make long-term support very difficult or straight up impossible. Since Bethesda is so committed to their engine, they're willing to go a bit into tech debt. At least that's my understanding of it. Sorry, this is about my ceiling on the subject, so hopefully that makes sense. But surely, don't call me Shirley. Bethesda would move on to a different engine if it made sense financially, right? I mean, being proud of your work is important, but if this tech debt is going to be that much of a problem, then shouldn't they just swallow their pride and switch to Unreal Engine 5? Well, that brings me to the second point of why Bethesda probably won't be leaving the creation engine anytime soon. You see, since Bethesda designed this engine themselves, it is catered to fit their specific needs. While Unreal Engine 5 might be the better all-around game engine, it isn't a very good Bethesda engine, if that makes any sense. The creation engine was built for Skyrim, for Starfield, for The Elder Scrolls 6. As great as Unreal Engine might be, it doesn't have the same tools necessary to make a true Bethesda game. A game with spiraling narratives, with NPC tracking, with dynamic worlds, great mod support, etc. Sure, maybe Bethesda could build out those tools in Unreal Engine 5, but that's a lot of extra work for something that they've already done. And there's not even a guarantee their systems would work in that engine anyway. Ultimately, the things that make a game a Bethesda game are, in large part, because of the creation engine. Abandoning it would be abandoning what makes a Bethesda studio game so... Bethesda. So, at the end of the day, should Bethesda switch to Unreal Engine 5? Personally, I'm gonna say no. Sure, it might help graphically and maybe a bit with the performance, but the jankiness of Creation Engine is part of that Bethesda charm, for better or worse. Plus, it's nice to have some variety in the gaming industry. Not everything needs to have epic games involved in some way or another. But now I want to go on a little bit of a tangent. Just a little bit. I see people going back and forth online about old Bethesda games and all of these newer Unreal Engine 5 games and saying that Bethesda needs to catch up with the times. Here's my honest opinion that no one asked for. The engine is not the problem. There are plenty of Unreal Engine games that are glitchy or problematic. Switching engines is not going to fix modern Bethesda's problems because modern Bethesda's problems aren't with the engine they're using. It's everything else. What I'm saying is, Bethesda as a whole might be the problem here. I don't know for sure what it is, but recent Bethesda games haven't been hitting as hard as some of the classics. Like, let's look at Starfield as an example. Now, I say this as someone who had a lot of love for this game. Honestly, probably more than most people. But I can't deny that Starfield is not the same level of quality as older Bethesda games, such as In Oblivion or Fallout 3. The gameplay is fine, and in some cases, really incredible, but I've just found myself not caring as much. Like, these newer games, while being a technical showcase, don't feel as impressive as the older stuff. I mean, Starfield was supposed to be Bethesda's magnum opus. Skyrim in space. I don't know if it was too much of an ego thing, or maybe I bought into the hype machine, but I don't think Starfield is anywhere near the level of Skyrim. I just found myself not very interested in the story, or a lot of the characters, or even the countless worlds out there to explore. And I don't think I'm the only one. Starfield wasn't even nominated for Game of the Year, which should be a big kick in the balls for Todd Howard and Microsoft. Bethesda is supposed to be this legacy studio. How could a project this big feel so empty? Starfield felt more like a tech demo for what the Creation Engine 2 is capable of, rather than its own complete product. I've noticed, especially now with the Oblivion remaster, that the older games just had more life to them, even if they're not as technically impressive. And that's what modern Bethesda games are missing. It's not an issue with the creation engine or anything development-wise. In fact, I think the new engine is really impressive, and I'm glad Bethesda continues to show a lot of support for the modding community. The issue is that the content itself isn't as good. 
it doesn't matter how long the story is or how big the world is or how many worlds there are if I don't care about the story or the characters or really anything that's happening in the game. I hope that Todd Howard and Bethesda are learning lessons from the mild success of Starfield and the overwhelming success of Oblivion to figure out what exactly they need to make sure that Elder Scrolls 6 is a home run. I have faith in the technical stuff. I just, I really want that old Bethesda quality of world building, quest design, innovation. No more procedurally generated stuff, please. There are plenty of talented enough devs over there to handcraft something truly special. But until then, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of the creation engine? Do you think Bethesda should switch? Have you been playing the Oblivion remaster? If so, what are your thoughts? And what are your hopes for the Elder Scrolls 6? I would love to hear all of your thoughts down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It means a lot. I appreciate you guys as always, and I'll catch you in the next one.